All right, welcome to part two of our series on future value, present value, and calculating the value of a payment stream. Last video, we learned about how to calculate the future value. Uh, this time, we're going to look at how to calculate the present value of some amount of money you're receiving in the future. We left off last video. We had figured out that the future value is equal to the amount of the payment. We normalize that to be $100, but uh, it's whatever the amount of the payment is times 1 plus the interest rate to the nth power where n is the number of years in the future you're calculating for. So this particular formula um, would say if you have $100 and you get a particular interest rate and let's say you want to find out 10 years in the future, well, the n would be 10. Uh, we worked on that. Well, to figure out the present value, right, the $100 here is your present value, right? Future value equals the present value of the money times 1 plus the interest rate to the nth power. Well, all we have to do, if we're receiving some amount of money in the future and want to work backwards to figure out, well, how do we figure out for the present, is just do a little bit of algebra, right? The future value is equal to present value plus uh, times 1 plus the interest rate to the nth power. Well. Just a little bit of rearranging with our algebra means that the present value is going to equal the future value divided by 1 plus r to the nth power. So if you have some future amount of money that you're receiving, and you know the interest rate and how far in the future you'll be receiving that amount of money, you could figure out a fair present value, what that amount of money would be worth right now. So. Let's go through an example. Suppose someone is set to receive $80,000 12 years from now. Uh, the interest rate, 3%, you know, just kind of pulling that out of thin air. Um, you know, could be whatever, right? whatever interest rate you'd like to put in there. Uh, what's the present value of this payment? Well, we just have to plug into our formula here, right? Uh, we know that present value equals future value divided by 1 plus r to the nth power. Let's open up Microsoft Excel and figure out what the present value is of this $80,000 payment that will be received 12 years from now. Okay, we have Microsoft Excel open. So let's, uh, let's just start defining our variables here. We know that the future value on the money is $80,000. We know that the interest rate is 3%, 0.03, and the years in the future that this is received is 12. Well, let's create a little formula here, right? Well, our present value is equal to the future value, and that's divided by, we'll want to put this all in parentheses. So we're actually going to want to double parent, uh, put two parentheses around this. One, oops, okay, we ran into a problem here. One plus the interest rate, and then that is to the nth power, where n is the number of years we would calculate. Let's put that into a dollar sign here. $80,000 that's received 12 years from now if the interest rate is 3% would be worth the same as $56,110.39 today. And that should make sense, right? If you invested some amount of money today, it would be worth more in the future, which means if you receive a fix, fixed payment in the future, the amount would be worth less today. So I'm going to change the interest rate here. I want you to, before I do this, try to figure out if the interest rate is higher, what's going to happen to our present value? And I'll plug, I'll write in present value here. So, so if the interest rate's higher, what's going to happen to our present value? So let's plug in a 5% interest rate. So if the interest rate's higher, I think the first inclination to think, well, the present value will be higher as well. But that's actually not the case, as we see here. A 5% interest rate, our present value dropped pretty dramatically from the 3% interest rate. The reason it's not is if you have a higher interest rate, that means that if you invested money today, it would be worth more in the future. So any amount of money you receive in the future is actually worth a little bit less today with a higher interest rate. So interest rate of 5%, our present value is considerably lower. Number of years in the future. Say instead of 12 years in the future, it's two years in the future. How will that change things? It's again, um, similar to the interest rate. The higher the interest rate, the lower the present value. 
the more the years in the future, uh, the lower the future value. So if we switch, instead of being 12 years in the future, we're only two years in the future, that makes a huge difference. Only two years in the future, the money's worth a lot closer to the initial value. So if you were to receive 80,000 two years from now at a 5% interest rate, yeah, that's worth about 72,560 today. Right? That's a lot closer. I mean, that's it's a world different than what we found when we were looking at 12 years. So once again, the nice thing about this formula and tools like Microsoft Excel, you can create a general formula like this and then just um, different values are incredibly easy to compute.